about almost halfway through the season did uh, you feel like you'd be as far along as you are and like third in the SEC rushing that doing as good as you're doing uh, I really didn't know I was third but um, I feel like I, in my mind I feel like I compete with the best so I, I think I, that's something I had in mind for me what gives you the confidence I mean just I trust myself and my abilities I go out and practice and work hard every day and prepare do you sense that you guys are going to start going to maybe the running game a little more given the success that you had with it against LSU? Um, I think that's something we can do. I mean, whatever we got to do to win, I mean, that's what we're going to do. So. It's got you to feel like your body you... holding up, you know, through the just the bangs and bruises of just, you know, everything. I'm kind of sore, but I'm, I'm thinking uh, I'm taking care of myself pretty good, getting in cold tub, just um, going and getting treatment. Coach Longo talks about running the grass, chasing space, that sort of thing. When you guys run, is it always a numbers advantage, or are you guys just getting some good blocking in front of you as well? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, some plays we got the numbers advantage, and some plays, I mean, receivers are making blocks downfield, and uh, the whole line doing a good, great job as well. Not that you necessarily needed confidence, but does having consistent cons success against that caliber of a defense help you going forward? I mean, yeah, it helps build confidence. I mean, against that a top five um, team in the nation, I mean, yeah, it's a confidence builder. Did you feel like you guys got away from the run too quickly on Saturday night? I mean, uh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, some in my mind, I mean, yeah, I say that. But um, I think Coach Longo is doing what he thinks think to um, win this game. So, yeah. When you were deciding where to transfer, how much of a <clears> – how much did you weigh where you'd be able to make an impact right away? Cause you like repeat that. <laughs> yeah, when you're when you were designing trains for here, how much of an aspect of that were you thinking about going to a place where you could play immediately and make an impact immediately? I mean, that was in my mind. I mean, that's what I wanted to do off the bat, just come in and play. I feel like I trust myself. I mean, my abilities. I feel like I could play um, on off the bat. Yeah. How much of that was seeing the success Jordan Wilkins had in this system towards the end of last year, or did you pay attention to that at all? Uh, I really didn't pay attention. To be honest, what's this offense got to do to uh, do a better job against the better defenses that you're facing? You know, it, uh, it, it's been easy or seemed to be easy against Southern Illinois, but not so quite so much against Alabama or LSU. I mean, just being more consistent. I mean, just um, converting on third downs and just being more balanced offensively. Thank you. Thank you.